after yet, and they're already at the finish line. This must be the best uh, race ever, I would say. What a hell of a race. <laughs> Uh, everything goes according to the plan. Uh, to be honest, I think like when we decide to race together this year and, and to this kind of a challenge to win everything, I want to say, you think we can make sub seven hours? <laughs> but it was more like a joke. Our end goal was more like 7.15 to be honest. Or 7.30. Or 7.30 <laughs> or just winning. <laughs> but, we, we were not even thinking that it was possible to do this, and uh, oh, what a finish. Uh, my question, first of all, is you had a plan. I have no idea why you came up with the time of 7.20 to begin with, but you've smashed that. What, what went so much better than you had anticipated in your plan? Uh, one thing I would say, the weather. The weather was the perfect conditions. I mean. The water is cool, the, we have sun until Arno and cloudy on Arno, which is a really good thing because we were sweating a lot when you were running this half marathon and having cloud was a good thing. This is one thing we, you cannot control and it helps a lot. That's really the, what accelerated you? That's what helps a lot for sure and uh, I would say positive mind for both of yeah. us. Any, any lows in the race or not? Any, any moments where you had to carry the other one and say, no, we can do this, or, or you're on the same page? I, I had a little bit of a low uh, on the Orner. Not, not that it was super low, but Hugo was stronger than me, and he helped me, I guess, mentally push me there, and we got back into good pace. Uh, otherwise, uh, we felt fantastic all day. I think both of us, yeah, except for cramping on the finish line. Yeah. <laughs> but that's for <laughs> drama. Um, the, uh, just the one last question is that when you don't have a team right behind you pushing you, and I know that people were telling you, hey, you guys have 15 minutes lead, 20 minutes lead. Mentally, is that a good thing or a bad thing to know you have so much time ahead of you? Like, did you take the gas off at all or did you just keep pushing all the way through? I think in, in the beginning it was a good thing to notice, just to know that uh, Everything goes as we were planning to, and then at one point it was more about us and against the race and want to break the record and do the best we can. Yeah, I mean we we love racing both of us. I think we we're not the ones to slow down and and not racing anymore. We want to do the best of our performance as possible. So we keep we kept racing. Okay, and just a last question in French for uh, La France. Uh, Hugo, how ça comment vous avez trouvé uh, depuis l'année dernière que le swim run, le sport à, à, en France a vraiment amélioré, a uh, ça changé ou quoi? Il y a plus de monde. Euh, en France, il y a de plus en plus de monde, de plus en plus de courses. Il y a, il y a, il y a eu uh, un, un circuit, je dirais le nom ici, mais uh, qui, a, qui a rassemblé des des 1000 participants, 800 participants sur chacune de ces étapes. Donc il y, a, il y a vraiment quelque chose qui est en train de se passer en France, c'est très très cool, ça fait plaisir. Il y a même un, un support de, de la Fédé maintenant qui est pour la première fois une, une vraie délégation ici. Euh, et, et je pense que c'est un, un super move parce que la Suède a fait 80% du table jusqu'à aujourd'hui pour promouvoir ce, ce, ce sport et l'amener jusqu'ici. Et maintenant la, la France, à sa manière, est en train de prendre le relais un peu aussi. Et, et avoir une fédération présente ici, je pense que c'est un, un vrai pas vers la légitimité de ce sport et, et ça peut amener aussi d'autres choses sur tous les autres pays concurrents ici. Et, et, et ça peut être que bon pour le sport. Ouais. Et on, on va vous voir à Cannes Et à Malte. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Everyone, a round of applause. This is a, an incredible, incredible achievement here. <laughs>